Tight bond wood glues, quietly keeping woodworking projects together for over 70 years. One of the things that makes an Adirondack chair look so great and so comfortable to sit in is the great fan shape across the back. When you install these slats, it's a little bit dicey. The spacing is a little bit weird because of the fan shape. The spacing is narrow at the bottom, bigger at the top. So what I want to show you today is how to make sure you get these slats correctly installed. One, so the spacing looks good, and two, so they're nice and securely fastened to the frame of the chair itself. The system I'll use for an Adirondack chair is to work from the center rather than the edge of each piece that creates this fan shape back. So what I've done here so far is I've added masking tape to the top rail and to the bottom rail. And the reason for that is that the rails are already completely sanded. Very easy to do while they're separate pieces. If I put a pencil mark right on the rail, then I'm going to have to go back and sand that off. It's a lot easier to just remove masking tape. So next step, what I want to do is find the center on the top. So based on the overall length here, I'm going to find and mark the middle and give myself a pencil line there. Then I'm going to do the same thing here on the bottom. Now, I bet you can see where this is going to go next. This is my center slat, and I want to get that one in first. So here, I'm going to look at front and back, and I'm going to decide that's the back. And down here toward the bottom, I'll mark the center of my vertical slat. Now I need to know where to make the mark up here. And I'll mark center there. Now with my marks in place, this becomes very simple. When I install my center slat, all I have to do is line up the index lines and it's going to be perfectly vertical, perfectly centered. I'm ready to get that center slat in place. So this is going to require glue in order to make sure everything stays put. For my glue selection for this project, I want a glue that's water resistant. The Adirondack chair, of course, is going to serve me best by being outside. So that's going to have it exposed to a lot of elements. So I want to make sure that the glue I'm using is worthy of the project I'm building and that that glue is going to hold up for me. So water resistant glue is your best answer there for outdoor furniture like this. Now, with glue on both surfaces, I can line up my index marks. And what I'll do to start with is just use a brad nailer in order to pin that in place. And then I'll follow that with exterior screws. The remaining two slats are going to see a very similar process. What I'll do here is I'll measure between these two, then mark that half that distance here on my masking tape. Same thing top and bottom. Similarly then, I'll mark the back of the slat. That'll give me index lines to get everything put together for those remaining slats. Those index lines really provide a great way to get everything lined up. I'm going to get some screws in from the front and then we'll have a look at the results. Well, I'm very happy with the fan that makes up the back of this Adirondack chair. Even though the spacing is irregular, meaning it's narrow at the bottom and wide at the top, the fan is very uniform 
And that's what makes a chair like this look good. So back to a couple of tips from this project. When you're laying out an irregular thing like this fan, it's easier to work off centers than it is to work off edges. Make sure that the glue that you're putting everything together with is a good water resistant glue so that an outdoor piece of furniture like this beautiful Adirondack chair is going to hold up. Some tips for you. Hope they help you out.